This one is all about the pinnacle of achievement in the sport of bass fishing. No trophy outranks that one. The World Championship going to the winner for these three days of fishing here in South Carolina on the 2018 Geico Bassmaster Classic. To win the Bassmaster Classic is you know, my entire career. If you're not fishing to win, you shouldn't even be here. The Bassmaster Classic is, is definitely the pinnacle of our sport. It's a winner-take-all event. Everybody that has anything to do with the Classic, it's a sleepless week. for my family, for myself, uh, this is it. This is what got me into bass fishing, is this one event. Being here is a huge accomplishment. Winning it is a whole nother level. We're gonna stand on top with our hands in the sky. Gonna raise our cup to the stadium lights for the glory. Watching the 2018 Geico Bassmaster Classic, presented by Dick Sporting Goods. And so it begins, there it is, the starting point of an incredible three-day journey that makes up one of the greatest events in all the world of sports, the Geico Bassmaster Classic, presented by Dick Sporting Goods. And this is the road, the final stretch of the road for one of these 52 anglers that could mean a world championship. I'm Tommy Sanders, welcome to the Toyota Bassmaster Studios. Welcome to these two gentlemen here, former Geico Bassmaster Classic champ, Davey Hyde, and in his 14th year covering the Classic, Mark Zona, and guys, this is, this is it. This is not going through round robin. This is not trying to accumulate points. This is against the entire field of great anglers for three days, nothing left on the table. Nothing left on the table. You worked so hard all year long to make it to the Bassmaster Classic. Once you get there, there is no second place. It is win or go home. No doubt about it. Really, of all the tournaments that we cover, this is an all-in event. And here's the best way to put it in all the classics that, that we've covered together. If you win this tournament, the bass fishing world remembers your name. If you're runner-up in this event, you remember you were runner-up in this. <laughs> you and you alone, it is truly a life-changing thing, isn't it, Davey? You would know. I, I can speak for both things. You mentioned Zona, it's so important to talk about being in second place. I remember I did that one time, but I promised my son, my whole family, I would win one day, and fortunately I did. Life-changing event. Let's do this first of all. Let's take a look at our Yamaha, unlock the lake, get ourselves familiar with this all-important playing field that's been the third time here, as a matter of fact, since 2008. Exactly right, back when Elton Jones won. I want you to look over his shoulder, really from 2008 in to the 2015 Classic here on Lake Hartwell. Water was about 10 feet lower. And this time around, looking at Lake Hartwell, not only will the water be 10 feet higher, it will be a lot warmer and not as many fishermen fishing offshore like we saw then. Great, great point, Z. A lot of guys will be fishing on the bank this year. I don't think we had but just a few anglers in those previous two classics that fished shallow, had a good day, but could not keep it going throughout the three days of the classic. This year, I think we have a lot better chance to see somebody fish shallow for the entire tournament. That year that Casey won, everything just really came together. The cold water temperature, the deep water fish, places he'd been fishing his entire life. Casey Ashley right at 50 pounds, just as it was back in 2008, but not getting to start with the rest of the field. On this morning, the first day of the Classic, Casey Ashley is sitting in the penalty box. Day one of the Bassmaster Classic on Lake Hall, where I'm defending my title from 2015. We're in the penalty box. I was 38 minutes late on Wednesday, the official practice. Uh, our last official practice day, just lost track of time, you know, didn't change the, the time back on my GPS. And we're so in tune not to look at our phones. I never looked at it until I was already 10 minutes late. You know, I was just fishing, 
just going down the bank, covering some water, and, and something just hit me and it didn't feel right. I hadn't heard a boat in a while, I hadn't seen anybody in a while. So I pulled my phone out and looked at it, and yeah, I'm an hour behind, so it was a stupid mistake. So now we're sitting in the penalty box, everybody else is fishing. Casey Ashley in the penalty box, and it's pretty confident that the rest of the field is not that upset that he's sitting there. No, not at all. They're happy, and Casey takes it pretty well. He's normally a fairly relaxed sort of angler. He's a classic champ here. Let's go to last year's Geico Bassmaster Classic Champion from Lake Conroe in Houston, Texas. What an effort on the final day coming from 15th place to win a classic on the last day. Unbelievable. Exactly right. And Jordan Lee, nobody was watching him coming into that final yes. day. One of the most amazing things watching Jordan Lee's career, how dominant he was on the Carhartt College level all the way into winning his first Bassmaster Classic. Well, I can guarantee you everybody will have their eyes on Jordan Lee from now on. He starts off a little slow in a lot of these tournaments, just like he did in that Classic, but he always seems to excel as the days go on. He's very versatile and he adjusts to the fish really, really well. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Large mouth. Here we go. Number two. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. I'll throw money out. That's fine. Wasn't expecting that bite. Not a large amount. Back to back cast. I hadn't thrown this all practice. I just, I just felt like it worked. Means they're feeding. I'll feed it to them. Freaking feed off that. Back to back cast. Drop in here. Yes. We get Jordan Lee of Alabama out of the collegiate ranks, trying to be the third angler ever to win back to back Geico Bassmaster Classics. The legend Rick Clun did it in 76, 77, and Kevin Van Dam in this decade, 2010 and 2011, back to back classics. Jordan going to be able to pull it off. We're a long way from finding out the answer to that question. But right now, let's go visit that one of those aforementioned back to back classic title holders, the one and only Kevin Van Dam. Van Dam, of course, tied with Clun for four classics all time. He'd like to make it five. Got his start back in 2001 and again in 2005 with his first two classic wins. Being here uh, is a huge accomplishment. And, you know, winning it is a whole nother level. And, you know, I've been fortunate to be that guy um, four times. And once you've done that, um, nothing else uh, compares. There we go. A big one. No, I guess it's not. Not very big. Just fall hooked. Nice one. It's a start. That spot. I'm gonna have to catch him a lot bigger than that to win this week, though. Oh, I can tell. Kevin Van Dam, he'll tell you back in 2008, he had one of the best practices he's ever had for a Bassmaster Classic. Very eerily similar practice this week for Van Dam. Yeah, a lot of confidence for Van Dam, but we look at the leaderboard, we see a, a replay from the past. Alton Jones, the 2008 champion, on top here. And Kevin Van Dam and all the rest of these anglers know you can't get too far back of that lead. A six pounder is a rare, rare specimen here. So, you know, but four pounders are very common. So it's hard to make a big comeback. You, you know, you got to get yourself in position, um, you know, going into that final day to where you're, you're going to be within a few pounds of the lead. And I think this tournament is going to set up that way. The 2018 Geico Bassmaster Classic presented by Dick Sporting Goods is brought to you by Toyota. Yamaha, Skeeter Boats, and by 
Power Pole. You're watching the 2018 GEICO Bassmaster Classic, presented by Dick Sporting Goods. Greenville, South Carolina, what a great host city for this classic. It has played host the last two times. Three classics in the space of this decade for Greenville, yes. South Carolina. Yes, Lake yes, Hartwell, yes, where 52 yes. the best anglers in the world are out there. They'll fish the full field for two days, and you have to make it into the top 25 to fish on the final day. So everyone knows there's no time to waste. It goes by very, very quickly. Sorry. Right now, while all these anglers are out there on the water, Casey Ashley spending 38 minutes in the penalty box before he can even start fishing. Ten seconds. Finally get to go. Well, that is one cool customer, the way he handled being in the penalty box here on day number one. And Casey Ashley will tell you, this is not going to be a tournament that is won on one single spot. Pretty much what he did back in 2015. And another angler to keep your eye on because of that is Brent Ayler. So much history here, and not only history fishing Hartwell, but winning on Hartwell. Got him that time. Not big. But it's a keeper in the Bassmaster Classic. Got a lot of places to get to those. A lot of places. That one right there has got my name on him. <laughs> That's me, look, he's coming up to look at it right now. See that? He's coming up to look at it. What's going on there? He bit it on the sink. I knew it. Bit it on the sink. When you throw it out into not that deep of water and it never hits bottom, it just keeps sinking. You know something's not right. You don't think Brent Ayler's on a mission. Think about what happened to him last year. Lake Conroe at the Bassmaster Classic. He was trying to become just the sixth anger in classic history to have a wire-to-wire -wire victory. The first since uh, Cliff Pace back at Grand Lake in 2013. But he fell a little short. 11 pounds, 10 ounces! 11 pounds and 10 ounces! Massive disappointment for Brent Ayler on that day. Exactly right. An unbelievable comeback from Jordan Lee. And what's been interesting, watching Jordan Lee quiet and confident. He'll tell you, I don't go into these tournaments with a real big game plan. I just kind of go with the flow. I go with the weather conditions. And that's exactly what we're seeing here today. Jordan Lee already transitioning to dock fishing, but he need a confidence builder to get to this point. You're exactly right, Z. It means so much to have five fish in the live well. Then he can go to these boat docks as the water temperature slowly rises, these large females moving up, and you don't have to get a lot of bites when you do what Jordan Lee has done this morning, fishing the herring fish, catching these fish, two pounders, a lot of these fish you hope he doesn't have to weigh in, but they help him fish confidently during the day. Yeah, we started off quick and caught some fish, just no, no size on the first stop, and now we're just gonna run around, fish out the rest of the day, and uh, you know, try to try to run across a few big ones. They're real scattered to me, for me right now. So I'm just having to cover a lot of water and, and hope hope to make the right stop. Not fishing anything real specific right now. I'm just, you know, happen to pull in this pocket and the water was warmer. So, yeah, you just don't know. That's probably how it's going to go down. I saw that one get it to big one. Come here. Don't you do it? Don't you do it? Don't you do it? Yes. There we go, baby. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Gotta have faith.
Yeah! There we go. Hey, stick at it all day, all day. Mm, gotta just keep going. Just gotta keep going, man. Just keep going. Have confidence. Just gotta keep going. Keep going. Yes. Just gotta keep going. Oh, that's fun. That tells me I'm, I feel like I'm doing the right thing. I just need to keep going. Get, have confidence in do, what I'm doing, and that, I mean, that just gave it to me. If I just cover enough docks, we may run into a couple of them, and that's, that's game changing. Well, you heard it right there, game changing, and Davey Height said it. You will not get a lot of bites on the docks here on Hartwell, but that one, that is a shot across the rest of the field's bow. Boy, that's a difference maker in this tournament for sure. So Jordan Lee off to a great start on day number one. The first ever classic champion to come out from the college ranks, the Carhartt Bassmaster College Series. And though young at this stage in his career, Jordan knows the importance of the classic and all those who've won. The, the classic trophy that I have, I, I constantly go back and I look at the names on there of, of the people who've have won the event and your your name gets stamped on that trophy and it's, it's the tournament you want to be at that's that's what we you know you always hear it what you fish for all year but it really is you want to be here at this event and you know like i said there's one winner but you, you can't win it if you're not in it Watching the 2018 Geico Bassmaster Classic, presented by Dick's Sporting Goods. This week of the Geico Bassmaster Classic, there's something that's on everyone's mind. A lot of sadness at the passing of Guido Hibden, one of the all-time greats, former classic champ, and someone that everyone looked up to, Davey Height. Proud to call him a friend and somebody I owe everything to as far as my fishing career. I got to know Guido, and he encouraged me to pursue my dream of being a professional fisherman. It means so, so much to me to get to know Guido Hibbert. Yeah, not just you, but other classic champs as well. Say, he was the guy that you definitely followed. One of those champs, Mike Iaconelli. When I became a fish head, I was in my teens. It was during that time frame in the 80s when Guido Hibbert was dominating the scene. Being from New Jersey, I had an immediate connection to Guido. He was a spinning rod guy, light line, finesse tactics and I mimicked a lot of how I fished as a kid based on what I saw Guido do and what I read through magazines. When I was in college, I decided to start fishing the Bassmaster Pro-Am series. The third day of the event, I drew out with Guido Hibden. It was really hard for me to keep it together because inside, I'm this geeked out fan and I can tell you that I've drawn out with a lot of people, but he was one of the most kind, helpful pros I've ever drawn out with, coaching me on what to do, on how to catch a limit. And we both caught limits that day. I went on to win that tournament. It was the first tournament I ever won in my life, and it gave me a bass boat to let me pursue my dream to be a professional angler. Great stuff for Mike Iaconelli right there about Guido Hibner. We're gonna head out on the water right now with Iaconelli, who had it, what he would call an insane morning on Hartwell but not a lot of quality, just solid keepers. Iconelli sticking out deep and needing some critical calls. Big one, big one. Big one. Oh God! Stay on there, sucker. Oh my God. Ah! Three pounder, three and a half pounder. Look at that thing. That thing looks like me. I'm barking them all under the boat here. <laughs> that's three and th that's three and a half. Look at that thing. Here goes the last little one. Look at this call. Look at that. Look at that. Two and a quarter pound call. 
They're all big ones now. They're good ones. Actually, I'll leave this one on that side. Very good call there for Michael Iaconelli. Let's go from the 2003 Geico Bassmaster Classic champ to another former champion, four-time champ Kevin Van Dam. You rode with him the last day of practice, Davey, and you gave us some definite observations about his mindset. He had a great day of practice, expecting big things, but it's very important for these guys that are fishing offshore to be able to catch their fish early in the morning. They need to get those few key bites early in the morning. Just got to keep moving until you hit them. I got a whole bunch of spots in this area, but you want to try to find a section that you can, you know, if you catch one on one point, there's probably going to be a bunch all around there. Similar, it's found, finding that area where the bait's up. Not a lot of wind in that. Today's probably going to be my toughest day. There we go. There's a good one. Big one. That's the kind right there. That's what you want right there. He choked it too. Big old spot. Look at that belly. <laughs> to say my confidence has been high this week is an understatement, so we will uh, keep grinding. Kevin Van Dam with three keepers in the boat, certainly on this day, finding the going a little more slow than perhaps what he had anticipated. He's gonna keep grinding, as he says, also grinding it out today. Last year's Rookie of the Year, 2017 Rookie of the Year, Dustin Connell, another one of these great anglers out of the Carhartt Bassmaster College Series from the University of Alabama. As his limit now, our own Robbie Floyd on the scene out there witnessing it all. In fact, Robbie right now will hook us up with our Geico quotes from the boat. It's go time for Dustin Connell. You know those call your shot type of moments. I just got to witness it. He said, when I get to this next spot, I'm going to catch him. Took him a couple of minutes. He stirred up the fish, caught one. Took about another minute or two later, he catches another one. And one that's really going to help him. Right now he's calling, going through, you know, seeing which is his five big fish. But he knew that this was going to be the area. And you can see two different presentations to get him. But once he got here, it's been on. Well, a lot of people thought with the warming temperatures coming to Lake Hartwell, higher water, that this was going to be dominated on day one with largemouth. But really, so far, what we've seen, at least from the anglers that we are covering, they're solely focusing on spotted bass and then making critical upgrades. One of those anglers, Brent Angler. You know, I got, I just upgraded twice, but. I'm not nearly where I need to be for day one. I think I need about two more pounds of raw weight. I, mean, I just haven't gotten that big, you know, three to four pound bite. I need, you know, to, to, the, to compete, you need to have, you know, one or two of those bites every single day. Big one. We still have a lot of day left, quite a few spots. The only thing now I'm torn on what to do. I got one whole area that I want to fish where I actually caught some big largemouth. I'm trying to decide whether to do that or, or keep running my spots, my spotted bass spots, and you know, call out the 12, 13 pounds. You know, 20, 22 is going to be leading it. A lot of big fish in this lake. What are you? What are you? You feel big. Oh, yeah, it's a giant spot. Giant spotted bass. Giant spot. Stay on, fish. I need you. Stay on. Stay on, fish. I need you. Stay on. Oh, look at that one. That's a big one. Oh, that's a nice one. <laughs> Look how fat that thing is. 
Whoa! <laughs> Man, that's a nice one right there. I've been looking at this spot for three days and I, I haven't fished it yet. So far on this day one, Brent Ayler, along with Edwin Evers, one of the guys who are going through big numbers, he's probably got 20 keepers that he's caught so far. And as he says, I haven't got the size I needed. That was an upgrade right there and a, a, a move forward for Brent Ayler. But we see James Elam atop the leaderboard. Brent Ayler, one of these guys, the classic is stressful enough, probably even more stressful when you put yourself in position to win. And he has been in that position, certainly was last year. The Bassmaster Classic is is a high stress tournament. There, there's so much at stake here. Your careers have been made just on this one tournament alone. And uh, coming to a lake like this, like Lake Hartwell, uh, I absolutely love this lake. I've, I've won here before. I've had a second place here before. I really enjoy this lake. And coming here for a classic is, is tough because it puts a lot of stress on you because you know how much you like the lake. You know how good the lake is. And you feel like, you know, I feel like this is a place where I could legitimately have a chance to win. The 2018 Geico Bassmaster Classic presented by Dick Sporting Goods is brought to you by Berkeley, Minn Kota, Hook, and by Mercury. Just a little bit past the midday point, day one, the 2018 Geico Bassmaster Classic, 52 anglers out there as we try to determine our world champion for this year, one of the big time favorites, local angler Casey Ashley. He's won a classic here already. And Davey, we see him going from the upper lake where it's a little bit uh, more color to the water to the clearer waters down the lake. Well, Casey likes to fish on the lower end, the clearer water. He says the bigger spotted bass and the bigger largemouth are there. One thing very different from 2015, Casey Ashley is fishing shallow. He does not believe the quality of fish, the size fish you need to win the classic this year will be caught offshore. He thinks he'll be caught around shallow water cover. I seen that fish swimming. I seen that fish swimming the other day. There's two of them out there. I shook, I shook two off of that dock out there. Casey Ashley started his day with a little time in the penalty box, now moving in the right direction. And guys, we said before the tournament, we want diversity. We don't want a bunch of guys just straight up and down on them, and that's what we've got. That takes us into our Skeeter Taste of Bay. No doubt about it, Tommy Sanders. If you look at our defending champion from Lake Hartwell, Casey Ashley, throwing the zoom trick worm, fishing very slow on the lower end, but that was not the story, really, of day one so far. Guys like James Elam and several others throwing the kitchen sink. Throwing the kitchen sink, for sure. The bladed jigs are one common thing you see, fishing shallow water vegetation. Buzz bait, here again, Jacob Wheeler, bladed jig. That's the one thing you see these guys wanting to throw early on in the tournament. Some of the biggest names in shallow water fishing, Jacob Wheeler, over to Jason Christie. This is a different Lake Hartwell this time around. The Lake Hartwell that Jason Christie loves, stained water, the wind's been blowing, he's got some shallow water vegetation, the best shallow water power fisherman in the business right now. Speaking of best in the business, Jordan Lee just doing what he does. He adapts every single day to the conditions. You better watch out for him. Jordan Lee, you remember, spent a great part of this morning laying the foundation for a good day, going out catching on that herring bite, getting himself a small limit. Now, uh, for the last hour or so, he's been trying to upgrade. A good coal. It's a good coal. There we go. 
What'd I say? I said we're going to call back here. Keep moving. Keep moving on up. Here we go. Pulling on up. Slow and steady. Slow and steady. There we go, baby. Going as satisfactory so far for the 2017 Geico Bassmaster Champion. Maybe performing better than he thought he might on this place where he has limited experience. Now, this is my first time to this lake, and you know, I don't have a lot of experience on, on this type of lake or, or any in this region, um, but it, it's a big lake. You have a lot of different options, and I feel like you're going to see a lot of different techniques play. You can fish deep, you can fish shallow, you can go in, in stained water, clear water, and it's got everything. So you really have to, to figure out what area, what you want to do and the route you want to take. To, to give you the best chance to win. You're watching the 2018 Geico Bassmaster Classic, presented by Dick Sporting Goods. The whirlwind of activity that is the week of the Geico Bassmaster Classic includes Classic Night and all the anglers get together to uh, get together one more time before the fishing starts and to honor the Toyota Bassmaster Angler of the Year this year, Brandon Pollock. Everybody has that opportunity, and it's just those split-second decisions. There were, I had so many of them last year that I didn't know what I was going to do. Everybody's earned their right to be here. Everyone has the mechanical skills, the mental ability to win this event. And so I encourage everybody to, if it takes you five seconds to make that decision, if you're second-guessing it, count down and make it. Make it happen. Thank you and let's enjoy our night and enjoy the rest of the week. Toyota Bassmaster Angler of the Year, and when it comes to the fishing on day number one, finding it a little slow going on this day, only two fish early, but this was a nice one. It came off a bush about midway through the morning. Two good ones in the box, but now it's past midday, and he's kind of stuck on that number. Big it. Come here. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here. I've just only got one hook now. Come here, baby, I need you. I need you, I need you, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You! You! Mm. I guess there is one there today. Man, first when she came up, she had that thing sucked right down sideways in her mouth. <clears throat> That's what I'm talking about. All righty. Got them shakes again. But I say we need to catch some ones that eat those shad. Woo! Good midday fish for Brandon Polinick right there. And he'll be the first to admit it. He said, I do not understand these herring lakes. When you don't understand them, you live shallow. You ignore the deep water bite, the bite that Brent Ayler has been on all day long. And here's the amazing thing. Brent Ayler with a solid limit, no giants in the live well, but has 14 pounds. We hadn't fished this spot yet, but good sign that they're still there. I need to fish something tomorrow. Uh oh, that's a big one. I think that's a big one. A big largemouth. Yeah, big old largemouth. That's what I need. I needed that fish right there. I need this fish. Stay on fish. Stay on. Stay on fish. I need you. You're not a giant, but you're. Oh, oh. There we go. Nice. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hooked really well too. Not a giant, but man, I needed that one. Oh. 
little bit bigger, huh? <laughs> Slowly getting there. Brent Naylor getting it done right there. The people that are fishing offshore have to go through lots of numbers, 20 and 30 fish a day to be able to get up to that 14 to 17 pound limit that they're looking for. Well, Brent Naylor's been able to do it. Lots of fish caught today, but the size is getting better. And as a result, he's up into our top 12 right now. And as a result of us having a weigh in today, a big crowd already gathered at the Bon Secours Wellness Center. We're anticipating a lot of fun on this first day. It is a spectacle, that is for sure. We'll show it to you in a little while, but hold on. We still have some last minute fireworks from two of our leaders. What's going oh, yeah. on over here? <laughs> yep. He's hooked. Come here. Oh my goodness. Oh, good lord, it's a giant <laughs> right now. It's huge. It's a six pounder. Come here. Come here. Just come here. Please come here. The 2018 Geico Bassmaster Classic presented by Dick Sporting Goods is brought to you by Nitro Boats, Abu Garcia, Humminbird, and by Triton Boats. Absolutely beautiful downtown, fun place to be here in Greenville, South Carolina, and there at the Bon Secours Wellness Arena is where the weigh-in is going to get started with Dave Mercer as MC here in just a little while, but meanwhile, some fishing yet to go out on the lake, and a lot of our guys, you know, have, a, have already finished up their deep bite and going shallow. I think Davey nailed it, saying the guys that are living out deep are having to weed through a lot of fish, and if you really look at Jordan Lee's entire day, it's been boring. But every hour and a half throughout this first day of competition, yes. there has been big calls with large mouth. There we go, baby. Yes. I went into this pocket, got into this pocket, and the water's 55, which is the warmest I've seen today. You know, there's got to be some starting to move up. It's warm out. I mean, it's just, you just feel it. Just skip this little nail white worm under, under there. And we hadn't just killed them today. I mean, you just got to stay steady and figure them out. I pulled up near Bobby, his phoenix, and nope. Oh yeah. Yep. I said nope, but it's a good one. Maybe my second biggest one. All right, he's hooked. He's pissed though. Yeah, we yeah. Come here. Yes. Here we go. Yes. That's the one we needed. Yes. Yes. That's what we're talking about. Come on. Let's check out this coal. Huh? Look at that. Yeah. There we go. Yes. That was fun. Yeah. Further he gets into this day, the more he is liking it or defending. Geico Bassmaster Classic Champion, Jordan Lee. Let's go over to the man he uh, was able to beat out on the final day, Brent Ayler, who's also seeing some size show up late in the day. He really is. He's the one guy that's been fishing offshore that's been able to catch enough fish to really stay in hunt. But even Brent Ayler knows to be able to win the Bassmaster Classic, you're going to have to go shallow late in the day and look for those bigger largemouth. I'm nervous out there. Uh, you know, I always am, especially the way I'm fishing right now. Uh, I have a lot of really good areas where I'm catching a lot of fish, but I'm not catching a lot of big fish. Uh, I was hoping for 15 pounds today, and I kind of want to just sneak in under the radar. Okay, catch up to him. Big, big old, big largemouth. Good Lord, it's a giant largemouth. It's huge. It's a six pounder. Oh my goodness, it's a giant one. Oh my goodness. 
Oh my goodness, this is the one I need. Stay on fish. Stay on fish. It is a giant one. It is a giant fish. It's a six pounder. Oh, come here, fish. Come here, fish. Come here. Come here. Oh, it's a giant one. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh my goodness. Just come here. Please come here. Oh. Yes. Yes. Oh my goodness. Dude, it's a giant one. <laughs> oh, that was such a good call and we got to go. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, that was such a giant one. Oh, we got to go. We got to go. <laughs> Right where I need to be. Right where I need to be. It wasn't exactly pretty for the big ones, but boy, I made the right moves. Oh, it is so much more fun to end your day that way other than the other way. Brent Ayler with a good catch to wrap up his day. We've seen a few anglers put in that position and they can't wait to get here to the Bon Secours Wellness Arena. Fridays, it's sometimes hard to turn out a crowd. They do a great job here in Greenville. You really got to see anglers like Brent Ayler. They know what one big largemouth can do here on Lake Hartwell. Solid day, 17 pounds and eight ounces, putting him in fourth place. How about one of the big time contenders for Rookie of the Year on the Bassmaster Elite Series last year, Mark Daniels Jr. A good day and it's not hard to pick out the highlight of his day. Look at that giant large mouth, the Berkeley Big Bass of the day, six pounds, 11 ounces. And Jordan Lee, I love his approach. He started off shallow and a blow through around the heron fish throwing a swim bait early in the morning and then he went to those dots because he knows that you have to catch a few of these big large mouth. And our 2016 Geico Bassmaster Champion, Edwin Evers. 19 pounds! Well, he's got one classic victory on Grand Lake in 2016. Edwin Evers with a big day here on Lake Hartwell and anchored by this right here, big largemouth. Not a spotted bass in there, but don't look now. Edwin Evers, kind of reminiscent from that classic, Jason Christie left to weigh in. 20 pounds, 14 ounces. 20 pounds, 14 ounces. And Jason Christie is your brand Jason, how good is this? What a way to start the classic. Oh, it is a good way. I, uh, you know, I got off to a good start. I said this morning, you know, in a couple of interviews, I needed to get off to a good start. I caught one the second or third cast, moved around, learned something. That actually kind of went away about 11 and uh, found something else. We have three Oklahoma guys in our top five. Why is that? I think uh, this sets up a lot like um, a lot of the lakes that we fish, Grand Lake, and I don't know. I can't explain it. We got, there's some guys that can catch them from Oklahoma. There sure is some guys that can catch them, and you're one of them. Let's hear it for Jason Christie, your tournament leader. Well, it's in the books. A couple of things about that leaderboard. Look at first, second, and third. Third place, Jordan Lee, who won it last year. Who won it the year before? Edwin Evers, he's in second place. And who was second to him in 2016? Yes, Jason Christie. Pretty strong group right there, all through the top 12 and beyond. I mean, that's a great setup for a three-day battle. No doubt about it, really. If you look at the top five anglers that we have in this tournament coming out of day one, a couple of them have won classic titles and a few others that we have expected to win classic titles. But the one key word that we talked about on day one this tournament is about change. Yeah, it's hard to make it last for three days, Davey. It really is. This time of year, the weather's going to be changing a lot. The water temperature creeping up, and then you have those cold nights. The wind some days blowing 20, 30 miles an hour, and then you have that calm day. Diversity will be the key this week. 
to see who wins the Bassmaster Classic. So impressive on day number one, but what you staked out on day number one may not sustain you for three days. That's what's going to make it a great battle tomorrow. Next time when we see you, round two, day two of the World Championship, the 2018 Geico Bassmaster Classic, presented by Dick's Sporting Goods. There we go, baby. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Come here. Please, come here. Twenty pounds.